Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Mongoose Firmware Toolkit. Mongoose Firmware allows to build professional quality firmware for internet-connected products on a number of hardware platforms, including CI CC3200, ESP8266, ESP32, and others. First, we need a hardware module. I'm going to use ESP8266 Node MCU and connect it to my laptop via the USB cable. Second, we need MIOT tool. You can download it from mongooseiot.com website. Go to downloads and click on the version you need. I use Mac, so I downloaded it. And for the convenience, copy to home bin directory. To bin and set the execution flag on it. Now I can run it. You can see a list of available commands. MIOT tool talks to the device through the serial port. Therefore, to avoid specifying minus minus port flag for all my MIOT commands, export an environment variable. So export MIOT underscore port equals, on my system, it's dev cu dot slam USB to UART. On your system, it could be different. Now let's test how it works. Clone Mongoose IoT GitHub repo. Git clone https github.com slash tesanta slash mongoose iot. Now it's done. cd mongoose iot fw examples c underscore hello. And let's build and flash the simple application. So let's see what it does. Last src main.c, this is a source code. So what it does, it sets up uh, a timer and, uh, and prints TikTok messages on the console. Type MIOT build. Oh, it needs an architecture. Minus minus arch ESP8266. Notice that you don't need a tool chain. It builds on the cloud. You don't need anything. Also, it can build locally if you want to, but it needs Docker to build locally. So the firmware is safe to build uh, fw.zip. Now let's flash it. MIOT flash. And MIOT console attaches to the serial console. And we can see the logs. Take talk messages. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel to get the updates.